What's up, Greg? It's me, Danny, back with another episode of I Am Not At My Desk. I am on my couch. That's because today is a very special video. Actually, I should hide this. If you can tell that it's wet right here, it's because of my dog. She licks her paws and it gets wet on the... I didn't pee on the couch. So I posted on Instagram about this, but for those of you who don't know, I recently just became a full-time YouTuber, which means I don't have a job now basically or this is my job i guess so first off thank you guys for that i i've really always wanted to do this it's pretty crazy that there's enough of you that actually watch these videos for me to do this full time so i had this moment the very first day that i became like a full-time youtuber laura left for work and i sat down and i got ready to do my first full day as a youtuber and i just was like oh wait what do Wait, what do I do? And I spent pretty much the entire day trying to figure out what a full-time YouTuber does. And from what I could tell, it's not a lot, aside from making videos. So I was a little bit bored the first day, and I thought back to a video I made about a month ago where I reviewed these products from As Seen On TV commercials, and uh, particularly the fun skates. And I thought, man, if I had a pair of those right now, I wouldn't be so bored. Then I also thought I could make a video about it or whatever, so I, I ordered them uh, to play with, and I ended up ordering a few products from these As Seen On TV commercials, some of them that I reviewed in that video, and then uh, one extra bonus one that I'm gonna try out as well. So that's what this video is going to be today. It's me fulfilling my childhood dream of playing with the carpet skates. Also, I'm wearing my own face on my shirt. You might think that's a little bit narcissistic. I do too. I also do. But how else am I supposed to promote the new merch? DannyGonzalez.store. So I'm gonna start with the fun slides. Nowhere to run, nowhere to ride. Now wherever there's carpet, blast off with fun slides. So I guess I'm like an unboxing channel now. All right guys, welcome back to Unbox Boy, Unbox Boy. XD. Today we're going to be unboxing the fun slides. So what can we expect from these? Well, I think I remember the commercial saying you can do tricks. It's just as fun as sliding on socks on a hardwood floor and you can dance like a maniac. I think that was my favorite part of the commercial. So if I can't dance like a maniac in these, these are going to get a pretty bad review from me. Oh, it's got instructions on the back here. Thank goodness, because these seem really difficult to use. Uh, here's the instructions. Use with athletic shoes. Place a carpet skate on the floor with gripper grooves facing forward. Place your heel against the elastic heel and strap the slide foot back until the hook and loop foot strap will come over. This seems like way too m This is like a paragraph of instructions. Don't you- you just put your foot in it and slide, right? How difficult can it be? And at the end it says, now you're ready to have fun. Prior to use, read all cautions below. Oh shit, there's ca- there's like a caution section on here. Assembly instructions. Does this not just come as a- do I have to assemble this? Okay, anyway, let's check out the cautions. Caution, always wear flat-bottomed, rubber-soled shoes, such as athletic shoes. Use only on carpeted surfaces, away from stairs or obstacles. I remember that from the commercials. Walk down the stairs. Stay away from stairs with these things. You'll, uh, fucking die. Adult supervision recommended for those without skating experience. The joke's on them, because I am an adult. I bet they never thought an adult would be buying these for themselves. Ages six and up. That's not a problem because I'm 23 years old. Please retain for future reference. I will make sure to keep this caution for future reference just in case I'm going out skating with some friends and I need to make sure that I'm being safe. All right, well, here are the skates and yep, I have to fucking assemble them. What? They couldn't just do this in the place where they made them? How hard is it to just put this together? This should not be something that you need to assemble when you get. Let's see, are these slippy? They feel kind of slippy. It'll fit on my foot for sure. On the side, it has real comments from real kids. Greatest invention ever from Keenan in King, North Carolina. Let's, uh, let's see if these things live up to our expectations. The instructions are printed on the inside of the box, almost like they want to make it as hard as possible for you to figure out how to put them together. So I guess I have to take apart the box. I hope I don't damage the caution so I can use that for future reference. Okay, so we got, let's open the box here. Fuck. I ripped the instructions oh god all right now we've got the instructions that was difficult <gasps> guys they have the instructions printed on this side and then on the other side they say go to funslides.com for additional products from the creators of fun slides tips and tricks dvd this dvd includes tips and tricks for fun slides carpet skates and pro and semi-pro fun sliders getting extreme fuck yeah i want to get extreme with these okay wait does this not come with it i thought this was supposed to come with the 
tips and go to funslice.com for additional products. I don't get the free DVD for pro and semi-pro tricks? Now I'm gonna look like an idiot in these things because I don't know any fucking tricks. Not to mention I don't have the trick stick slide rail and I don't have any of the carpet ramps in the commercial either. I'm gonna look like an idiot. Oh well, maybe it'll still be fun. Okay, for maximum performance, use with athletic shoes. Maximum performance. I like how they pretend that this is like a extreme sport is sliding on carpet. For maximum performance, use athletic shoes. Now I remember in the commercial, it made a really big deal about the high quality construction of of these which is kind of bullshit because I'm having to construct them myself so I think the quality really depends on how well I do it but I will say the smooth plastic and the foam feel very premium this isn't a one dollar carpet skate you're really getting your $19.99 worth of this $19.99 in all seriousness though this foam is very thin I feel like this is gonna provide little to no comfort on my foot maybe you want it to be more firm for op uh, for what, what did it say for maximum performance <laughs> I really want my performance to be maximized in these when I start dancing like a maniac. Wow, we're having fun now, gang. We're, we're firing on all cylinders here. Oh yeah, look at that. Two completed fun slides. It does have labels of front and back on here. That way you know when you put them on which one's the front and which one's the back. You don't want to get that mixed up or you'll probably get into a really serious accident. Uh, probably go to the hospital. Might end up in a coma. Let me put my feet in these bad boys and see how it feels. Oh yeah. That's some smooth plastic right there. All right. Well, I'm ready to get sliding, I think. Let's test these out and see if I can do some fucking tricks or at least get semi-pro with these things. So actually the first thing, it said in the cautions to only use these with athletic shoes. So I need athletic shoes first. What sort of athletic shoes do you have? Do you think these are athletic enough? I don't want to get in an accident. I don't know, shake them? Yeah, they sound pretty athletic. <laughs> the commercial said that these are supposed to be like as fun as sliding around a hardwood floor in your socks. Well, how much fun is that? I don't know. Also, I have a hardwood floor and I only have like a five foot by five foot space of carpet in my entire apartment. That goes right into the window. You can slide, you can do tricks, and you can dance like a maniac. <laughs> you can dance like you've been locked up in a penitentiary. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, dude. Is it? Okay, so first impressions, these actually are very slippery. It's, it's a lot. Whoa, dude, slide. careful, careful, Hey, all right, you good? I was playing it up a little bit, but then I actually genuinely slid. <laughs> Ooh, damn, let's see the spin. I wanna see the spins, there you go. Okay, that's- Check that out. Dude, that's pretty sick. Yeah. I wanna see tricks now, I wanna see like a, like a rollerblader grab. Ooh. That's pretty good, right? Damn, you're like Brink, dude. Can you grind? <laughs> damn, dude. Dude, these are like the new Heelys. We gotta do like a skate video, go ahead. Oh. <laughs> They use this trick in the commercials where they have like these carpet ramps, which- Who has a do... carpet ramp? I know, you can do cool tricks on those, but it's like, nobody actually has those, so it makes it seem way more fun than it yeah. is. Yeah. So, but I can make one. If I just is that gonna it. support your weight? No way. Maybe quickly. Ooh, nope. damn. No, I heard it break. <laughs> Maybe if I go real quick. All right. Your head came so <laughs> close to the deep. <laughs> End of video. It did suggest that you should wear a helmet, which is the most <laughs> bizarre <laughs> thing I've ever seen. In, in your in your own home on a carpeted floor wearing a helmet. <laughs> your wife comes home, what are you doing? Nothing. I'm gonna try dancing like a maniac. Now, okay, let's see that. You're a maniac, maniac. I need more arm movement. That's right. That's good. I feel like a maniac. <laughs> All right, let's see what Peanut thinks about him. All right. She doesn't like them. She doesn't like them. All right, so final thoughts on these. Slipperiness, they're like a seven out of 10. They're slipperier than I thought they would be, but <laughs> he was just biting my foot. <laughs> Great if you want your dogs to attack you. <laughs> yeah, they're slippery than I thought they would be, but they're still not like that slippery. How much were those? These were $19.99. Is that a monthly installment? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For a year? This is three years of $19.99 a month. It'll end up costing me three grand when I'm done paying It's dog. made of the Wakandan metal. <laughs> <laughs> it's made of vibranium. All right, so are these worth a the purchase? If you don't have hardwood floors anywhere in your house and your house is covered in carpet, these would probably suit you well. well overall, I would give these a six out of 10. They are for sure slippery. Are they fun? No. The next product is not quite as fun, but is very practical. 
or at least the commercial said. This is the Slob Stopper, or it's actually an off-brand one because I couldn't find the actual Slob Stopper. In the commercial, this was used for men with busy lifestyles. They can drink coffee and spill all over themselves and not have to worry about getting it all over their suit when they're looking at hot chicks. Forget messy spills and unplanned accidents. Just slip it on and enjoy your busy lifestyle. So I got this really pretty patterned one because I still want to look good when I'm spilling hot coffee all over myself. And you know what? Honestly, there's not really much to say about this one. It is a bib. It's absorbent and waterproof. I feel like those are oxymorons. If it's waterproof, don't you want it to slide off instead of being absorbed? All right, well, I think the only way to really test to see if this works as advertised is to try it out in the car. <laughs> I'm just like you guys. Really, when I get distracted is uh, when I'm sitting in the car and I see a hot babe and I try to drink some coffee and end up spilling all over myself and I totally ruin my chance with the babe. So that's got to be the best way to try this as I am a busy guy with an on-the-go lifestyle. So let's go ahead and test this bad boy out in the car. In the commercial, the reason that he spills is because he's distracted because a hot girl walks by the car and he's like looking at her and then he spills coffee all over himself. So, this, so do you, could you be the hot girl? Yeah, I mean, look at me. Yeah. So this is a super scientific test. We need to make sure that this is completely controlled so that we see me? can really test it. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna walk by this way. Okay, walk by when I'm least expecting it. I'm gonna try to drink this coffee and walk by- Are you by expecting it. it now? Yes. So walk- What about now? Yes. Walk by right as I'm trying to drink it and okay. when I'm not expecting it so that I spill all over myself because this has to be just like the commercial, okay? Okay. Uh, I'm a busy businessman just going to drink some water. I'll probably suck your dick. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Was that like a hot chick? Yeah, that was actually really good. Did you get any on you? No, I think I'm completely dry actually. I did spit water all over my steering wheel though. <laughs> That's probably because I'm so hot as a woman. Okay, let's let's try it one more time where I don't spit and instead I just spill. Just do whatever a hot girl would do. Okay. Alright. Oh, another busy day of being a busy businessman. That's I'm gonna drink plenty. my water. Oh no! Okay, oh Jesus. Yeah, I, I really spilled Damn. a lot of water on me. Let's review. So, water definitely got all over the bib. I don't know if you can tell, but the bib is very wet. I can't tell, I can just see the floral patterns. Okay, so what happened was, the <laughs> the bib sort of acted like a slide, okay. and all of the liquid slid down the bib, Out and then down, down onto the seat, and then up into my butt. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it's probably more expensive to get your seat repaired than to ruin your clothes. Yeah. So if you're a busy businessman and you want co hot coffee in your butt, <laughs> Also, but you're dripping a little bit. Yeah. I don't know if that's because I was hot or yeah If that were coffee my seat would be totally yeah, it'd be ruined So I don't know for for busy businessmen. Do you think that the slob stopper is like the right choice? I think it's the right choice for saving your clothes, but also the right choice for ruining your car That should be its new slogan slob stoppers the right choice for ruining your, your car. car Yeah, if you really don't have time to just like stop for a few minutes to drink your coffee Then maybe you should solve other things before buying a bib, right? Yeah, maybe just like wake up earlier and drink your coffee before you leave Yeah, exactly or just drink your coffee when you get to work. Yeah, or just don't work. That's actually really smart. Overall, I would rate the Slob Stopper a four out of 10 because it sort of did what it was supposed to do where it protected my clothes or at least it protected my shirt, but it also got coffee all over my pants and it, it had unintended consequences that were not mentioned in the commercial where it would have ruined my car seat. Yeah. So those are the two products that I covered in the video, but I have another one that I think could trump the other two in, fun, in the fun factor level. And that is the the Air Pogo Jumper. Look at that. I mean, just look at this. The Pogo without a stick. Use indoors or out. Smooth, high bounce action. Um, and you guys know from watching my videos, I've, I've always said this, I'm really all about high, smooth bounce action. So that's gonna be really important for me. It's just like a little board with a ball in the middle that you jump on. I don't know how the fuck you're supposed to balance on this if it's just a ball. I said, this was recommended to me on Amazon after I bought the carpet slides. And I went to YouTube to try to find like a video or a commercial for it. And the only thing I could find is this video. It's posted on the official Geospace YouTube channel. Let's check it out. So yeah, it's just a 20 second video of a girl jumping on it. But you know what, that that pretty much explained everything I needed to know about it. So let's just jump into it, as they say. It's so funny. So the first thing we got here is a board, a ball, a pump, and instructions. There is also one 
black hair. I don't know if you can see. There's one black hair dangling out of the bag. I don't know if that comes with every Air Pogo, but it is a long uh, black hair. So just keep that in mind. If you are purchasing this product, it may come with a long black hair, uh, or maybe I just got lucky and was blessed with that. That's very gross. Moisten the needle tip and insert it into the bladder valve hole. So. Okay, it's nice and moist now. That tasted like a bike tire. Uh, very gross. So I gotta insert this into here and just pump away. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this one, I can already tell. Okay, I'm not exactly sure how full it's supposed to be. It says it needs 100 pumps. And for some reason, I wasn't counting the pumps. I thought I just had to fill it up until it was firm. Uh, so I have no idea how many pumps I've given it so far. So I'm just gonna keep pumping it until it seems full enough. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. This is going to be fun. Okay. Is there any instructions on how to use this? No, no. It just says remove the pump and your air pogo is ready to enjoy. So I don't know how in God's name I'm supposed to balance on this and jump at the same time, but I guess we'll figure that out. Uh, I guess now I'm just going to take this out and see if I can give it a good hop. All right, gang, right off the bat, my fears are that I'm not going to be able to balance on this. I also have a slight fear that this ball is going to bust under my, under my feet. All right, so let's just give it a go. <laughs> Who's thicker? Uh. <laughs> I'm going to try to start out not holding on to that. Okay. All right. Oh shit, actually, this is not as hard as I thought it would be. That looks cool. You're getting like, let me see how high you're getting off the ground. You're not even getting more than like six inches off the ground. I feel like the board is bending. Is the board bending? Oh, the board's definitely bending. I feel like the board is hitting the ground every time. Did you look at the age or weight limit on this? It said six and up. <laughs> Just all, any way up, <laughs> yeah. as far as you can go up. Well, it didn't, it didn't pop or anything. The Air Pogo Jumper, I would have to say, is more fun than jumping by about 5%. Okay. So if you wanted to get an idea, if you want to buy this, of how much more fun it is than jumping, think how fun is jumping, and then what's like 5% more fun. Awesome. It is pretty bouncy. I weigh 150 pounds, and this did not burst. I could definitely feel the board itself like buckling under my weight. Overall, I would give this a 7 out of 10. I mean, it's fun. Uh, we probably played with it for a minute or two and I'm already pretty worn out, so it's not gonna last you all day. It's not gonna be all day fun with this. I'm pretty exhausted after just playing with this for a little bit, so keep that in mind. All right, thanks for watching this review, guys. I'll see you next time. Hey, Danny. Hi. All right, Greg, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and turn on my notifications to join Greg. We are the fastest growing channel on the internet. As you guys have probably seen by now, I have new merch. It's the Greg Family Crest. It's a really beautiful design. It's uh, It symbolizes Greg being the fastest growing channel on the net, descending into the heavens while we leave our mortal enemies, the Craigs, to burn in hell. It has my face on it, which I feel really good about personally, and it comes in gray and black. So if you want to get that or any of my other merch, it's at dannygonzalez.store. I would really appreciate you guys checking that out because I really like this design. I think it's pretty dope. So many other YouTubers say that their fans are like a family to them. If that were really true, then they would have a family crest. So as far as I can tell, we're the only family on the internet with a family crest. Uh, probably means we're the only family on the internet. If you want to join my Discord server, you can support me on Patreon to do that. The link for that is in the description as well. Thank you, Rebecca Pets, for turning on my notifications. You are truly Greg. I will see you guys next time with a really interesting video where I disguise myself as a rat for three weeks and eat nothing but cheese and garbage, just to see uh, what it would be like. Bye!